Hey guys, Liz here from Blue Ridge Mile Mechanics and The Ride Life, and I'm here with Reed from Carmichael Training Systems, and we're going to go over bike fit, specifically for your hand numbness and hand pain. Reed, take it away. Thanks, Liz. Yeah, I'm Reed from CTS, and we're here to talk about mountain bike um, handlebar position uh, as it relates to hand pain. So those things that we're going to go over real quick are going to be handlebar width, handlebar rotation or back sweep, contact points like the grip and the controls, and so the first and probably most important thing is going to be handlebar width. It's important to choose a handlebar width that matches not only your body geometry, but also the type of technical riding that you might be doing. There's a trend right now in mountain bike bars to go wider and wider and wider, but if you go with a bar that's too wide, you might cause additional neck pain and strain as you reach for that really wide bar. So what we're looking for in handlebar width is one that creates a nice strong triangle. And um, so if you just sort of naturally held your hands out in a, a good strong brace position, that's where we would want the width of your bars to lie. The next thing is going to be handlebar back sweep. Or, um, and if you adjust this back sweep right here, then it's going to change kind of the relationship of, again, the contact point with her arm. And so we want her hand to be able to grab onto the bar perpendicular to her wrist. If the back sweep isn't right for her, she's going to strain her wrist one way or the other in order to grab the bars. If you're not able to get the perfect amount of back sweep in the handlebar alone, there's also different types of grips that have handlebar back sweep built into them so you can kind of further fine tune that grip position. Adding more about grips, what's really important in grip is to find a grip that matches the size of your hand. If you've got a really big hand and a small grip, you're going to feel like that grip is digging in. If you've got a small hand with a big grip, then you're going to get pain as you strain to fully grasp that uh, big grip. And so it's important to find a grip that has the right diameter for your hand. Next is going to be control position. What I like to do for control position is have someone with their hand on their grip and just extend their forefingers all the way out. And you do this primarily seating in a normal riding position or if you do a lot of descending, maybe even with your dropper post down. With her hands extended, we want to line up the brake lever so that the, her, fin her fingers are in line with her forearm right here. And you can do similar stuff with the shifter position to make sure that she has good access with her thumbs to the shifters, but not too close that they dig in when she hits rocky terrain. Lastly, I'm going to talk about gloves for mountain bikes. Ideally, you've solved all of your hand pain issues with contact point issues with reach, grip, things like that. Um, and so the only reason you really need to be wearing a glove is for safety if you crash, and also for good um, control on the bars. So we want to look for sort of a minimalist glove that just allows us to grab the grip real well without overdoing it with excessive padding. So those are my tips for setting up your mountain bike contact points to be pain free. Sweet. I think those are solid tips. And uh, if you want to get in touch with Reed, I'll put it down in the comments and his Instagram page and his Facebook page so you can get a hold of him if you have any questions. Cheers, everybody.